Today we will be going over Nano Dimension and some recent news that has sent the stock soaring. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we talk about Nano Dimension and its potential for a trade this week, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment of your favorite stock of the moment, why it's your favorite stock of the moment, and to also leave a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want two free stocks and you have not made an account with Weeble yet, then go ahead and click the first link in the description and get signed up. But without further ado, let's talk about ticker symbol NNDM or Nano Dimension. It has been about six and a half weeks since I posted my video on Nano Dimension and a lot of stuff has happened since then. When I made that video, the stock was sitting at about $14, then it rose to about $17 within the week, and then ever since then it has been a part of a major sell-off in the tech industry. And so far in March it has started to make its comeback and it got some extremely good news this morning that prompted me to make a video on it. But before we get into said news, I'd like to give a quick overview of Nano Dimension for investors that have never heard of it before. Nano Dimension engages in the provision of intelligent machines for the fabrication of additively manufactured electronics. Its products and services include the Dragonfly Pro system, conductive and insulated inks for printed electronics, and optimized multi-material design of complex electronics. They have about a $2.17 billion market cap, as well as an average volume of about 36.75 million trades per day. And on the news that came out this morning, the stock is set to double its average trading volume because we are halfway through the day and we are already at 36 million trades. Now let's get to the reason you are here. What is the news that came out today? Well, there are two pieces of news that came out today on Nano Dimension, and the first is that they had their earnings call. They reported revenues of about $1.97 million for the fourth quarter of 2020 and $3.4 million for the full year of 2020. They ended the year with about $670 million in cash and bank deposits, but did have a loss of about $17 million in the fourth quarter. But when you compare that loss to how much cash they have on hand, it's pretty minimal. They also announced that they have a balance of about $1.5 billion at the end of February 2021 because of $710 million that they raised in public equity offerings. And one other thing to note is that the change in revenue from the third quarter to the fourth quarter can be contributed to the sales of the Dragon fly systems according to nano dimensions and that is going to be everything that was notable about their earnings call today it was overall a great earnings call but there was another piece of news that came out earlier today as well they also announced that their president and ceo yao stern will be replacing ofer burov as a member of their board of directors. Now this is just a small piece of news, but it was something that was worth mentioning and looking at in my mind. Now that we've discussed the fundamentals, let's get into some technical analysis on the computer. All right guys, we are now on the computer and we can get into some technical analysis. Uh, so as you can see, we had a lot of volume at the beginning of the day because of the earnings call that happened. Actually the pre-market started out in the red and uh, as soon as the earnings call happened, everyone saw that it was positive and we had a big run up. And then as you can see, we have a bear flag here. So we have the big run up and then the three candles going down and then it actually broke above the, um, above the flag line. So it ran up and it went all the way up to $11.16. Um, it was above the 180 day SMA line, but it is getting close to being below that at this point. So um, as for getting into a position with Nano Dimension, I will be waiting for this to come down to a more reasonable level, maybe about 1050. I'm hoping it doesn't break the 1050 support here, um, but I do want to see this RSI come down to more of the 30 range, and then I'm going to wait for the blue line to cross over the uh, orange line on this MACD um, so that I, because that would signal a buy to me. Um, but it was at about 48 RSI, so if this comes down to 30 RSI and then the blue line crosses over the orange line on the MACD after it starts to trend back up. I will be looking to get into a position. I just don't want Nano Dimension to break the 1050 line um, as that would be the, its support for today. If it does break 1050, I think we can go back to levels around $10. I don't think that it breaks $10 though um, and I'm very bullish on this stock going forward. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be my technical analysis. Sorry if I didn't look at you guys. Um, I was deep in thought. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna send you back to 
uh, not on the computer. Now that we're back from the technical analysis, we can go over my overall thoughts on Nano Dimension. I am extremely bullish on Nano Dimension. ARK Invest actually has 7 million shares and it's one of their biggest holdings in their ARK Q fund. Um, and personally, I do have a long term position on Nano Dimension because this is a sector of the market that is untapped and as soon as it's tapped into, I think this thing's gonna go to the freaking moon. But that's just my opinion. And I wanna remind you guys that I'm not a financial advisor and that this is not financial advice. If you do want financial advice, then you should go speak to a professional financial advisor and not some random guy on the internet. But if you are interested in buying this stock and you have not made an account with Weeble yet, what are you doing? You gotta get in the pre-market and after hours with us. All you gotta do is set up an account, deposit $100, and you can get two free stocks worth up to $1,850. And now for comment of the day. Y'all comment and I'll pick one of your comments for comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is coming from Sam Kim and he said, keep it up guys, really enjoyed the Oxygen video. Thanks for the comment, Sam. I personally have made three videos on Oxygen in the last couple of months, so it's safe to say that I'm pretty bullish on Oxygen. But that's gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and it shows we're doing something right here. But my name is Zach and I will see you in the next video.